Hi, I'm Mark. I'm the Kitchen Pro. Okay, we're back on to the cabinet doors. Now I'm starting to do the, the front of the doors. Uh, so once again, I have my setup here. Uh, so I do kind of the same technique. I start with that outside edge and then I do the inside. A couple things to note. Uh, some of these uh, inside panels, which are a veneer plywood, uh, sometimes they're not sanded as well as the outside so they take a little bit more stain in other words they get too dark sometimes so what I've had to do is I take a 180 grit uh, pad and sanding with a grain is I just go back over them just a, just a little bit and it uh, it sands down uh, any of the the grain that is raised and uh, and just kind of smooths it off so it doesn't take uh, the stain as much and uh, then you need to dust it off. So, uh, on some of the doors too, uh, I've found that uh, I've even seen uh, fingerprints a little bit from I think the probably the company who's made the doors, or maybe my cabinet guy who has supplied the doors to me. So sometimes I've had to go over and once again just uh, if I see anything, just hit it with a sandpaper, sanding block, and then uh, brush it off. So once again, we'll get right into the sanding of the door. Now this is a little bit different because when I did the back, I did just the tops. But now I'm doing the front, so when I do this edge, I'm going to do the top and that edge. So it will blend uh, the best with that way. So once again, I'm using this, this, this sponge pad, sponge staining pads. It doesn't take too much. So, uh, so I'll do this side here and this side. I usually do two sides and then I r r flip it around just because then I could see uh, what I'm doing. So then once again I lap that over, get that outside edge. Now this has the end grain here because the, the board here has the grain going this way so it sucks it up a little more. So what I do is last time I put a little more stain. You can see where it kind of um, sucks it up and then it's a little bit dry looking. So I put a little more stain on it, those two edges. And go back over and do this. And the reason I do the outside edge first is because, like you can see, I'm, I'm holding it from uh, moving around. And I get that, that edge, the side, side of the cabinet door, the edge, and then the face again. Once again, it doesn't take too much, uh, too much stain. It was pretty fur. And wipe it and wipe that side. Wipe the edge again. And then so once again, what I do do is after uh, I do that, then any stain might wrap underneath it actually this time to get on the back. And if you're not careful when you're done, then you have a blob, which actually is probably hard to see, but I do have a little bit of a blob right here of stain that has come over the edge. So what I do is, uh, so I, I wiped it with the first rag, and so then I go back over and I actually wipe the underneath, the back of the door, so that any stain that comes underneath there, uh, it's, uh, it blends with the back of the door stain and, and or wipes it off. So it makes a big difference when you're done. So then I turn it around so I have, because it's easy to get access for these two, uh, two sides, and then stain that. And you always want to keep, uh, once you start staining the door, you want to continuously stain it until you're done. So if the phone rings or something happens, you just need to keep working. <laughs> so because if, it's, uh, if it starts drying on you, uh, you won't be able to blend it with the, the front and the back or the edges and stuff like that. So once you start staining one door, there's no going back. You need to just keep working on it. Now once again, then I get that under, under get the back side of the door. Get that underside, underside edge. The neatness counts. 
The other thing I want to mention too, I don't know if I mentioned this before, uh, I have a, uh, an older 180 grit sandy block. Uh, sometimes if there are, uh, when you, after you stain it, if you see a light area that where it's not accepting the stain, then I, so far there's no problem here, but if I see something like that, right after I stain and wiped it, if I see a problem that I could go back and sand it right away while the stain's still wet, sand it, it once again with the grain, kind of ruins the pad, but that's all right. And then uh, just wipe it off a little bit and then go ahead and dab it with your stain and wipe it right off again and hopefully that gets it. You might even have to do that a couple times. So, uh, so if you have a problem where the stain's not accepting or if you see a scratch, and a lot of times that all shows up only after the stain's applied. Now with this, uh, this kind of detail on the door, um, there's an itty bitty little groove in there and if you don't get that then you'll see a light spot where, this, where the bare wood showing. So you have to really make sure you get back into that, that little groove and kind of force the stain into it. And then the corners are critical obviously. If you have any uh, with a small sponge uh, brush too, if you need to get back in little corners, it's kind of nice. So then I got the outside edge going, so now I could get the the center. Once again, it's kind of nice to uh, get everything up going, and uh, I could hold hold some pressure on it, to keep things from moving around too much. Not too much stain, but just enough. You'll see where it, uh, it gets into the wood a little bit. Then I take, once again, I have two wiping rags. One, one that's more soiled, and I go back over that outside edge because anything that's lapped over onto the top here, I want to make sure I get that off as soon as I can so it doesn't start drying and leave a, leave a mess there. Then I get back on into the inside, make sure that even that little bitty groove there, I want to try and get it so there's not a uh, stained puddle back in there if I can. Now, once again, I'm going against the grain here, but uh, it's okay as long as you finish it off with going with the grain afterwards. The hard part sometimes is getting back into the actual corner. These are stained puddled up in there. And then I blend the center. So once again, when you do that outside edge going against the grain, it, it will really wipe it uh, more out of there than maybe is necessary. So sometimes you have to go back in and blend it. Like see here, I'm blending so it doesn't look uh, different on that edge. And if you see any dark areas, then don't be afraid to flip the rag over and hit it a little more. You almost really can't even wipe this. I mean, you can't totally wipe the stain off. So don't be afraid to really wipe it out. Wipe it good. There we go. Front done.